Hey guys, Michelle here from Cashel Creations and today we are going to apply heat transfer vinyl to um, Walmart tank tops and they are ribbed so you see they have the lines in it, it's not flat or flush and I want to show you how I do this. Um, these types of styles of t-shirts don't guarantee a longer lasting wear as to opposed to the ones that aren't ribbed or have lines in them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what technique I do use. Um, again, it depends on how often it's being washed and worn and that basically plays a role in any factor for any garment that you wash, obviously. But um, I went ahead and I cut out some of these images. We're going to match the design image and color to a tank top that I purchased and um, Let's get started, shall we? So I came across a few colors of tank tops I wanted to make for my knees for the summertime. Um, and so I wanted to give her some play on design concepts. So I came up with some designs that I found online through some of the websites I use. And so I was thinking we would do some of the following. Um, I kind of like this turquoise color for the black shirt, black tank top. So we might do that because it pops really cute. So we'll do that one. And then I'm kind of thinking this color is actually navy. It's not black. I'll show you a little bit if you can kind of see it. It, you gotta really be careful because this is actually, I was trying to use some of my scraps from my HTV um, bin that I have. So this is actually a navy cover color and I think that would go nicely with the pink. So we'll do that one. And then I feel that this color, I guess it's more of a, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. I really don't know um so we'll do this blue I mean in the camera I think it looks orange but it's not it's like a pinkish peachish color so I think we're gonna do that one and then this one I found this and I think it kind of pops really cute um, I've never used holographic vinyl before so this is gonna be a very interesting project to see um, how it adheres to it so we'll test that one out last um, so let's get started now that we have our order of the images with our tank tops let's head over to the heat press um, and show you how I press them stay tuned okay so we're over here at the heat press I've set the temperature for 320 degrees and we're going to use for 15 seconds now some of the vinyl I'm using is Cricut material um, which I probably mentioned in previous posts that I'm not too much of a fan of theirs. So I actually might keep it on there a little bit longer for press or press it and then check it and then probably press it again. Cricut to me takes a little bit longer of a press time than other vinyl I've been using. Um, the other thing is that why I wanted to show you was we use a press pillow. So this pillow they have on Amazon they have different sizes and I'll link that um, one that I've purchased below um, kind of gives you a cushion in here and this is basically going to help us spread out the lines in the shirt because if you had it on just the flat surface you're not going to get that same response with the pressure of the heat press pressing down on a flat surface versus a cushiony surface that will allow the garment that you're putting on top to give. Um, also, this is very thick. There's no, there's no give in this. So um, what we're gonna do is do the same thing we normally do. We're gonna prep the item. Another thing to remember, even though I normally do t-shirts, the last time I used my heat press was not for a shirt. So you do wanna um, take that into consideration. Along with using the press pillow, we might be okay with my pressure. So let's just try it with the pressure that it's out now. I'm gonna go ahead and get the first one. Now, obviously I'm gonna give this to my niece. 
so I don't need to keep the tags on. Should have taken them off first. So we're gonna go ahead and lint roll the shirt and make sure we get everything off that we cannot see. Another reason why it's good to lint roll a shirt is if you have pets in the home, like I do, um, sometimes their hair could um, adhere to the shirt and you not see it. And this just also is another measure to make sure that it's clean. Adhering a um, image to the shirt. Now, I know you're gonna ask me and I'm gonna tell you that I forgot to put this down first. Um, so we're gonna put the press pillow down. Then we're gonna put the t-shirt, so we're gonna get the moisture out. And we are going to press it for just five seconds. So the pressure is good on the heat press. You don't want it to be too hard. So we have it um, pressed to get the moisture out. And now we're going to center the item. Now again, um, these uh, shirt sizer, I guess is what it would be called. Um, it's, it's a unisex, you know, one size fits all kind of concept. I basically use the, the ruler on the bottom to kind of measure that I have enough space of distance, of difference on the sides. So that way I know that the shirt is centered. So I just will use that as a frame of reference. And I believe it is. For tank tops, usually um, they come down more than a, a crew neck or a typical t-shirt. So you just want to take that into consideration when you're doing the, the gap from your neckline down. Some, some tank tops have a longer neckline than most tank tops. So you just want to gauge that. Um, so putting your image closer to that, it, it might be fine. One thing I do like to do um, from time to time, <laughs> and it might be funny, is to go through your closet. See if you have anything similar to the garment that you're using and just reference it. See what looks like something you would purchase in a store and then compare that to what you're pressing on your own because that kind of gives you a guideline of reference. You know, I used to do that for pockets. I am not great at pockets for images um, because I always feel like it's the wrong placement, but it always ends up right once I do my trick that I just told you. Um, okay, so we're gonna do the first image here. And like I said, I'm not gonna come down too far because again, this is a tank top. So I'm just gonna meet the middle of where I think it should be. I'm gonna push it down. And I do like to just glance at it upright. I just feel like that kind of gives you, I don't know, a second check for it. Okay, so we're gonna try this and see how it works. Now I think this is Cricut material. So we're gonna put on um, the parchment paper down. I'm sorry, it's not parchment paper, it's Teflon sheet. And we are going to press it for 15 seconds. And let's see what happens. Now remember this is hot, so I just take it by the corners and then bring it down. Now I don't know if you can really see from the video, but the shirt is really flat and that is because of you can kind of tell the shirt looks really flat because of the pressing pillow underneath compared to what it would have looked like. Let me show you what another one would be. See, it doesn't look that flat. So. It's 
give it a minute because I believe I believe Cricut takes either cold peel or warm. See, it's lifting up and that's why I don't, I don't like Cricut. Um, that's just my opinion. So um, we're just gonna have to wait it out. Um, while we're waiting it out, obviously we have three other shirts and I believe all of them are using the same type of material, which is the Cricut brand. Um, I find that with them, from my experience, I mean, their new their product now could be different. These are um, Cricut HTV, like I said, from my stash, so I've had it for a while. I don't know if um, their, I guess, product has changed in their chemical components or however they're producing it, but I just, I find it like, very irritating and stressful because you're wanting to move on not sit here and wait for it to adhere and cool down for you to peel it so i'm curious to know with you guys if you guys use the cricut brand what your frustration is if you have any um do you use different products have you ever tried cricut htv vinyl see sometimes they come from different angles See, it didn't even adhere. All right, we're gonna go a little bit longer. Um, so I'm going to up my time. Let's just do 20 seconds. All right, we're gonna press this one more time. So you can see, if this happens to you, you're not alone. So even though we press it for 15 seconds, uh, I'm just gonna give it another 20. And then we're gonna let it cool off and see what happens. So we're up on the time. And then we're gonna take this off. Now to make it cool off quicker, we can actually set it on the table, which I hate. I hate removing items from the heat press only because I do want to press it one more time once I take off the film. I just feel like doing that, there could be a possible separation between the material and the shirt when you're slightly removing that, that um, film, um, that transfer sheet. And so I just like to give it another press just to make sure it's into the fibers of the shirt. So let's see, that's still warm. Let's give it one more try. Okay, it's a little bit cooler. All right, hopefully this works. Let's see. Let's try here. Nope, nope. It just does not, okay. I just didn't like the appeal from that corner apparently. All right, so we got it off, and I'm still going to press it one more time because I just like doing that. And here we go, and I usually do this for just five seconds. It's mainly just, again, to do a quick attachment from what we just peeled off. And so what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you real quick what this one would look like through, if you can see. See how the way that the grooves kinda like adhered in the center of it? So if I were to stretch it, you see how it stretches with it? That's because the press pillow allowed that to go into the grooves. Now again, this type of t-shirt is not going to give you more longevity as the other ones. It's actually going to give you less because of the fact that you still have those little gaps there. It's not 100% perfect. 
So we're going to go ahead and press the other three and I will do it a lot faster now that I know that I have or need higher temp. So let's get going. did the other two shirts and I wanted to save again the holographic one for last so we're gonna go ahead and heat press, heat press this one so I'm hoping that it's gonna do the exact same thing as the other shirts in regards to the holographic portion of it um, so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna prep we're gonna let roll get all that stuff off and we're going to press the garment for five seconds. And then we're going to align the image to the garment. Now it is two pieces and I do think that the hello is off center. Um, so what I do is I just match up the words to find my middle ground. And then I'm going to place it where I believe it would go. And then put summer right below it. Now one thing you got to make sure of when you're doing multiple vinyl is you do want to either do one of two things. And that is, I think we're gonna do the bottom one first. I'm gonna use heat tape because I feel like this is gonna move. So we're gonna put that one there first. We're gonna press it. And then we'll come back and press the top. Typically when you do this, you don't want to um, press them full their full time but because this is holographic and the other one I believe is not heat chance uh cricket brand I'm gonna be okay with it so um typically what I would do is I would cut around the hello portion to get as much of the transfer sheet off so that for one doesn't adhere to the other okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this off the off the press pillow because we want it to uh, cool down quickly and the tabletop is a cold surface so hopefully that happens I want to hope that 20 seconds at 320 was enough time and temperature I'm a little impatient I really hope it works because it's super cute on that color purple shirt All right, so let's see. Uh, here, no. What happened was when I used this on my Cricut machine, I put too much pressure on the cut and therefore it didn't take off it took off more of the surrounding than it was supposed to. So this is going to be a very interesting situation because the transfer sheet, see, still on there. So I just want to make sure that it is not the transfer sheet because you don't want to send, whether it's a gift for your family or friends, you just don't want to send the transfer on there. There we go. Okay, so I confirmed that all the transfer is off. Now we're going to stick hello on there, smooth it out, and I think I like it right there. So 
So we're gonna press it. I'm still gonna do a full 20 seconds, just for kicks. Let's see how it looks. This is hot, so make sure you pull from the side. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the counter, cool off. I like to clean as I work so I'm not as cluttered everywhere. Um, okay, let's see, is it cool enough? Nope, just a few more seconds. Looks super cute. Oh, I think it's warm enough. All right, so let's pull this sucker off. And when we go over to the table, I'm gonna show you closer how all this works. So I'm gonna press it again just one more time, but this time just for five seconds. And then we'll go over to the table and take a look at all four shirts. Five more seconds. There we go. All right, so we'll head on over to the table and take a look at the rest. All right, guys. So we are back at the table. Um, all the shirts have been pressed and adhered, and I wanted to show you closer to, again, how you can kind of see how the uh, fibers look like they were indented into the shirt and that's kind of what you want as your result that way it lasts as long as it possibly can and then look at that shine isn't that cool i hope my niece likes this so this was the hello summer we did and then we did strong like a girl and again that's navy i don't know if you can kind of see and look stretches with it so And then here is, let me see what happens. Here is the black with the turquoise. And then again, this peachish pink color with blue. So I would love to know if you have sublimated with this type of t-shirt, I mean, tank top. Um, I did get these at Walmart. When they were on sale, I think they're like 320 or 350. And then I think as the summer approaches um to an end, I think they drop them down to like 250 or something like that. So, anyways, um, I would love to know what you think. Um, did you, do you have any struggles with any of this stuff? Um, if you like the content, please let me know if there's other videos you want to see. And I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.